we're on the north side of Shehalian and these rocks, these orange rocks that you see uh, in front of me, they look like limestones. You've got these solution cracks running down through them, uh, clints and grikes, you know, typical limestone type of thing. And they are limestones, they're dolomitic limestones. And you can see them making that grey band through the hills behind me. And after the Cryogenian, so the Cryogenian was this global ice age where the oceans were largely frozen over. So there wasn't much communication between the hydrosphere and the atmosphere. So all of the plate tectonic spreading ridges that release CO2 into the atmosphere, that was all just happening in the oceans and wasn't getting into the atmosphere. And that's why it stayed cold, because there wasn't any uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere to warm things up. Eventually that became unstable and the oceans started to melt slightly, ocean surfaces started to melt slightly, and you got communication. And at that point there was a massive release of CO2 into the atmosphere. So that warmed things up. It also exposed loads and loads of rock dust uh, from the glacial uh, erosion and that reacted with the CO2 to make carbonates. So often on the top of the um, cryogenian glacial deposits you get these thick carbonate deposits and that's what this is here. This is sitting strat stratigraphically on top of the cryogenian boulder beds that we have.